And happening today, the 100 Club of San Antonio is holding its 22nd annual Run to Remember. The event honors first responders who have made the ultimate sacrifice. And all the proceeds go back into the organization to support their mission of helping our fallen heroes and their families. Ken's Five's Earl Stoudemire is joining us now from the race. At race uh, and Earl, it looks like there is a ton of people out there supporting the 100 Club's mission this morning. Good morning, Vanessa. Absolutely. There are actually nearly 500 and even more runners and walkers, a part of this year's event for the 100 Club of San Antonio's annual run to remember. We have some people coming across the finish line right now, and there are a lot of track stars. Some people came in within 15 minutes from our last cut in at nine and everyone now we're really just starting to get the celebration started just for the bigger impact for what this event means for everyone here and for first responders putting their lives on the line every day for us to be where we are now. So with this being said in the entire event, I actually have one of the longtime members of the 100 Club of San Antonio, Joe Savaggio. Please thank you for being here with us and tell me you actually have ties to actually how this event started knowing you know who this event was made for. Absolutely. i um, been part of the 100 Club for the last 30 years. Sandra Riojas started this event 22 years ago to honor her husband, which is Rocky Riojas, uh, with a run to remember him and his legacy. Rocky and I were on the SWAT team together many, many years ago. Uh, he was killed in the line of duty. And uh, it, his wife, beautiful lady, uh, started this. It's been growing ever since. Like you said, this year is a really, really good year. Uh, One Club took it over a few, a few years back. Uh, but we're not going to forget what it was about. It's about Rocky, it's about the families, and all the other families that have been killed in the line of duty. In my time on the police department, there's been at least 35 uh, people that have died in the line of duty. Uh, you don't see it every day, but it happens quite often. And so having the public come out here, uh, run the event, and be involved in the event and support these officers, these firefighters, is extremely important. Yes, sir. And how do you feel over the years with the event just getting bigger and bigger and just the support for our first responders? How do you feel being, you know, someone who's done the work, serving others and just seeing everyone being here now? It's so important for the community and the police department, the fire department to be close, to understand each other. That's why you don't see the problems here in San Antonio as you see other places. Uh, and honoring those that have fallen is, is extremely important. And that's what the 100 Club does. It raises money for the family of slain police officers and firefighters in the Bear County area. Extremely important. But more important is somebody that's been there and has done that, um, you know, having the public come out and support helps all of us, helps our families understand the reason that we're here and the purpose and it's very very important absolutely thank you so much so this all really is for a bigger purpose something bigger than ourselves for just carrying on the legacy of so many first responders doing the work every day and thank you for your service again for all the work that you've done being here thank you all of course well vanessa coming up on our later newscast we're going to have a little bit more of a coverage on this event and all of the stories of all the first responders who do this work and us honoring and commemorating their names and legacies. But for now, reporting at Eisenhower Park, Earl Sotomayor, Ken's Five. All right, thank you, Earl. They are out there raising hopefully millions of dollars to help our heroes.